My heart is so full. My spirit is full. My energy is high. I feel better than I've ever felt in my whole life. And I want to tell you why. You may have heard in other videos that I was at Disney World speaking there. It was incredible. So I wanted to take you along the journey and let you experience that and do something just a little bit different. Have some fun and let you kind of see what I just experienced for the last week in Florida, in Orlando, Florida at Disney World. There were so many things that happened, but the real moral of this story that I want you to take away before we jump into it is there is no rest without work and there is no work without rest. And that is why I am back. I'm stronger, clear, and more focused than I've been probably in my entire career. And it wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't have taken the chance and gone to this event, not only sponsored this event, but spoken at this event and had a booth there. So this event was incredible. It was in Disney World at the convention center and actually at the park itself. And then we have to finish it up with some fun stuff. But I want to first talk about the beginning of this event, kind of what sparked it and how I ended up there. So I have a business partner that I met in Hollywood and that event in Hollywood led me to this event. And he said, hey, we're looking for people to be sponsors of this event. It's in Disney World. You're going to get your own booth. You can get on all our press releases. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And I decided to take the risk to take the chance and sponsor this event. I had no other preconceived notions other than supporting my business partner and having a booth to launch Instagraphics at because it's a big passion of mine and it seemed like Disney World and Disney itself would be a great place to launch a platform for creatives, right? People at Disney World are super creative. So the cool part is one of my business partners, Chris McKenzie, came along with me to this event and I got to meet him face to face for the very first time. Now keep in mind, this guy has been on our team working for me for over two years. We're coming up to two and a half years. In March, it'll be, I think, three years. And this man has made a massive impact in our company. And it's a big reason why we've had the success that we've had along with Ian and all the other people on our team. But I got to meet Chris. He's a business partner of mine. It was our first time meeting. And we got to hang out together. We broke bread together. We became close friends. We ate breakfast. And we even bunked in the same room together. We had two beds because I don't snuggle like that. But it was really fun. We got to have basically some bonding time to get to know each other better than we ever had before. And it was just an amazing experience. But we both went there with the expectations that we were gonna work our butt off. We had our first Instagraphics booth with Chris Mann for the three days of the event. And man, we crushed it. He met a bunch of people at the event, got some business cards, and it was just great to be able to get some exposure for the brand. Now this is also where we launched and created together the creative internship. So we're bringing in kids from 12 to 18 and we could develop this program, built the funnel and everything while we were in Florida together. It was a lot of work, but along with a lot of work, there was a lot of rest. We stayed at an amazing hotel with a cool grotto pool and a spa. There was volleyball courts. It was an awesome place called the Melia. If you haven't been there, you got to check it out. It was a really neat place. They had amazing food. We had omelets every morning for breakfast. We ate like kings. I got photos I want to show you, but it was just an amazing pace, place to decompress, unwind, take a dip in the pool, which was like the most amazing temperature in the pool, and just basically be able to hang out and be friends. And then we worked the event. I was speaking and interviewing and meeting all these celebrities and getting to meet people like Linda Larkin, the voice of Princess Jasmine. I got to meet Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And these are people that I didn't just speak with, but I interviewed on camera. I also got to meet uh, John Morris, who is the voice of Andy in Toy Story. And let me tell you, that guy is an amazing human being from the things he's been doing to help and support Give Kids the World Village and all the things that he's done in his career. He's an amazing guy, left a big imprint. I got to hang out with James Dentley. If you don't know who James Dentley is, you should. You should go YouTube, check out YouTube. Look at who he is, because this guy is an amazing man. It's the second time I've hung out with him. I built a really good friendship with him, Pamela Landworth. I got to meet the young kid, Kellen, with a half a heart, but just that kid was amazing, and his parents and his family. I met a lot of amazing people that really filled me up, made me feel so grateful for the life that I have, for the opportunity that I've been giving, given and I was able to also decompress after all that work. Now, I didn't get very much sleep, but because I had so much fun and hanging out with Chris and doing all the things that we did at that event, I really didn't, wasn't really bothered by the lack of sleep. And I got to catch up on that the night last night and then the night we got home. 
And so sleep wasn't a big deal, but I got a lot of rest, rejuvenation, recuperation at this event and really got inspired by all the things that were happening. On the last day there, uh, we got to chill and kind of sleep in and then we mastermind all day long, Chris and I, and we came up with some of the most amazing ideas, where we're headed in the future with our company and also what we're doing with Instagraphics. So those things were amazing. But then we left there and went to the House of Blues and we got to see Tony Luca do the opening event. And this guy has performed for all the biggest names, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, NSYNC, all of them. And he was an amazing performer. And then after he performed, of course, it opened up to the party and they put on one heck of a performance from the choreography that they did to the singing and the performances and how they interacted with the audience. It was an amazing show. And I got to hang out with my business partners and all the main people from the event. And at that event, don't tell anybody this, but I got offered to speak on a TV show in China. Yes, China. To an audience of over 400,000 people. 400,000 people. I'm gonna be on a TV show. So that was really exciting, but the performance and getting to see Chasen in his natural state of just being a performer, and I found out they didn't even rehearse that set. The whole set that they did, which was like an hour and a half set, was all done just off of the 30 years of experience that they had from being in the Mickey Mouse Club and being performers and being part of the party. And they actually worked with some of the biggest names in music, like Dr. Dre and all these huge names. And, and it was just awesome to see them performing on stage and just being and living out their dreams. And it was just super, super inspiring. And then we left there, and then this is where things got even crazier. I never expected this, and I didn't just I'm gonna put this out there. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I'm not a Star Trek fan, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I don't dislike them, but I've just never gotten into it. But I was given the opportunity to go to Disney Hollywood Studios, which used to be MGM Studios, and not only do kind of a tour there at night, it was called an after hours party, but I also got to ride the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is not a ride, but I got to go to their park, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and ride a few of the different rides there. I was actually driving a ship through this crazy obstacle while Chris was going up and down and I was going left and right. We had gunners behind us that were shooting lasers and then we got into another one that you may have heard of called Rise of the Resistance. And this ride was mind blowing. It was like literally like being in the movie. There were stormtroopers and bad guys and good guys and people coming in at us and attacking our ships. And we, it was like a 15 minute experience. It was just incredible. And we did that all the way until midnight when the park closed and it was one of the funnest times I had, and I got to do it with Chris. We met some cool people online, made some friends while we were there, and it was just an amazing, I think it was Scott, and I'm trying to remember his wife's name, Allie, or I think it was Scott, but we made some amazing friends there, and, and Chris and I just got to bond. We took photos and hung out and talked about life and just had an amazing experience together and really bonded. We got to share our hearts, we put it all on the table, we made a lot of progress in the business, but we also made a lot of progress in our friendship and I feel like we healed some things through our journey together and the, the future just looks so bright. So I just wanted to share this journey with you because it's super inspiring to me. And I know that it'll be super inspiring for you to kind of see what we experienced, see the whole weekend encapsulated into just a few minutes here. But I really want to encourage you, if you had talked to me 10 years ago and told me that I would have done this, I wouldn't have believed you. And so it's really important that you take a step out and go work your butt off like I did for so long. I mean, I've been grinding for 15 years, but the one mistake that I made along the journey is I didn't rest. And now I have issues with my health, as you could probably see on my face. And it's just so important that you rest. And like I said in the very beginning, there is no work without rest and there is no rest without work. If all you're doing is resting and you're not working, Shame on you, right? No shame, but you need to get off your butt and go make some things happen because your dreams are on the other side of hard work. And you also need to make sure that you take care of your health and your body because without your health, you got nothing. What's it all worth if you don't live very long? So I just wanna encourage you guys to go out there, work your butts off, make sure you get lots of rest, make sure you take care of yourself because the last thing you wanna do is have health problems. And I just wanna encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and go after it. And me going after it, has led to me being at Disney World and having the experience that I just got to experience, which I want for you too. Whatever that is, whatever your dreams are, you can achieve them. So that's my video for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and letting me share my journey with you. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.